I got a lot of stock up today, so let's get through these as quick as possible. 633, third quarter. Brandon Ayuk is at the top of your screen. He's going to run an in cut. Does everything right. First watch, how he sells the vertical route. He looks fast. Cornerback thinks he's going deep. Now watch this 90-degree cut inside. That's explosive. It's quick. Now he's between four defenders, catches the ball with his hands away from his body, not afraid to take the hit, doesn't fumble, doesn't drop it. Watch it from the end zone. It's a real wide receiver, guys. Not a gadget player, although he can do some gadgety things. Look at his catch. Ooh, natural. Guy's going to have a good career if he stays healthy. 322 third quarter. This is Ayuk's touchdown run. He's going to run an end around. And it's a beautifully designed play because look at what the early running action to Jeff Wilson Jr. does to the defense. Everyone follows it. So when Ayuk finally gets the ball, everyone's moving the wrong direction. And he's got blockers. So this is a beautifully designed play. There's a ton of space. But he doesn't just sprint right through the defense. If he tried to do that, he'd get tackled maybe at the 8. Because this guy's right here. What's impressive about this play for Ayuk is that he follows his blockers, uses his blockers. This is a guy who knows what he's doing with the ball in his hands. Watch. Runs right behind his blockers. Uses that block. Uses this block. Cuts inside of McGlinchey. That's a savvy ball carrier. A nice run. Never got touched. One more Ayuk play. 724 fourth quarter. Third and eight. Ayuk is right here on the left. Third and eight. He's going to be running a deep in route. He's going to be open. It's zone coverage. Watch how he settles in the zone. Doesn't just go running across it into a defender. Finds a spot. Hangs in it right there. That's a savvy move. Pass is going to be behind him because this guy's breaking on it. Good placement from the ball. Great hands catch on a pass behind him. Let's watch it from the end zone real quick. Check out the arm strength from Nick Mullins and the placement. Ooh. I mean, there's no window there. Oh, just past the tips. Great throw. Even better catch. 12.56 first quarter, first and 10. This is a jet sweep to Brandon Ayuk with Ross Dwelly at the point of attack. Check out the block by Ross. No, that's not George Kittle you're looking at. No, that's not Mike Ditka. That's Ross freaking Dwelly. Gain of nine. 327 second quarter, second and 11. Ross Dwelly's on your left. Ross Dwelly legitimately has the best hands a 49ers player has had since Michael Crabtree. Anquan Bolden. I mean, watch him here. They're strong, they're soft, the concentration, there's no question. He's not going to drop the ball. And he gets a little yards after the catch too because he's Captain America apparently. Second quarter, two minutes left, second and 13. This is where you throw to your tight end for seven yards to make it third and manageable. Just going to run a little comeback route. You'll see. The idea is to get seven yards here. He's open. He's your safety blanket. Get the third and manageable. Catches the ball in between two defenders. Makes that guy miss. Makes that guy miss. George who? Ross freaking Dwellies. That's who I know. What a great play. Big play Dwellies. 118, second quarter, first and 10. Ross Dwelly going in motion. Like George Kittle always does when they run the ball. And they're going to run right behind Ross Dwelly. Like they do when George Kittle's in the game. Watch this block. Going to take him on a ride. You didn't know Ross Dwelly could block like this. I didn't know Ross Dwelly could block like this. Ross Dwelly didn't know Ross Dwelly could block like this. Or maybe he did. But he made that play. Big running lane for Jarek McKinnon. Three thirty-eight, fourth quarter, first and goal to two. What do the Niners do when they're at the two-yard line? They run behind Ross freaking Dwelly. But where is Ross Dwelly? Oh, there he is. In motion. Tricky, tricky. Here he comes. 
going to block the best player on the Giants, Leonard Williams, former top 10 pick. You don't want that. You don't want this. You don't want that Ross Dwellies. That was all Dwelly, that touchdown. One of the best players on the field. That's right. No one's going to give you props. Oh, there comes Nick Mullins. Mullins gives you a little dab. Okay, it's Javon Kinlaw appreciation time. 9.38, first quarter, first and 10. He's playing nose tackle here. Watch him just defend the run. Going head up against left guard Will Hernandez. Takes Will Hernandez. Shoves him to the side. Tackles the running back. That's a great play. As a run defender, he's an upgrade over DeForest Buckner. 901 third quarter. Now it's the second half. Remember, I've shown you he's worn down before in the second half. Not here. He's going to give Will Hernandez the business worse than he did before. There's Hernandez getting pushed to the side. Get off me. Get off me. He's like, whoa, what happened? Makes the tackle as well. You got to love throwing the offensive lineman to the side and making the tackle. Hell of a run defender. 704 first quarter early on. Here's DJ Jones across from Will Hernandez. Big Will. He stinks. But DJ Jones is so good early in games when he's fresh and energized. Uh, kind of like Javon Kinlaw. Check out the quickness here. Fakes to the B gap, back to the A gap. Will Hernandez doesn't know who to block, so he blocks no one, and DJ Jones gets the hit on Daniel Jones as he completes a pass for a small game. 8-19, second quarter, first and 10. Not a pass rush down, just a regular old first and 10. Here's Armstead at defensive end. The position he plays in the base defense, he jumps to the inside, engages the left tackle, and just throws him. He's hanging on for dear life. Now, the quarterback sees his life flash before his eyes. Armstead knocks him down, forces an incomplete pass. Armstead is a monster when he plays hard, which is most of the time. 3-10, third quarter, first and 10. Kerry Hyder's on the right. And my question to you is, is this Kerry Hyder or is this Nick Bosa? I mean, it's wearing Hyder's number. But that move around the edge with the hands and the power and the quickness and the finish, you sure that's Kerry Hyder? That looked like Nick Bosa to me. 257 fourth quarter. Here's Deion Jordan on the right. And again, my question to you, is this Deion Jordan or D Ford? Look what he does to this left tackle, who is just awful, apparently. Right around the edge. Gets to Daniel Jones, instantly finishes the play. Where was this in training camp, Dion? I told people you weren't playing well. You made me look bad. That's a hell of a play. Come on. 8-14, second quarter, first and 10. One of the things I love so much about Fred Warner is how smart he is. I mean, look at him. It's first and 10. He knows exactly what's coming. It's a run. Does he look like he's expecting a pass? He looks like he might be blitzing, but he's not. He just expects to run. He sees the offensive lineman pull. He goes for it. But then he adjusts and bounces two gaps to the left and makes the tackle. It's a smart player. 103 second quarter. Here's Fred Warner right here. It's the two-minute drill. The Giants are passing. The Niners are in zone coverage. Everyone except this guy. And it looks like Fred Warner's in man-to-man -man coverage because he just knows exactly what's coming. Smart player. Reads it all the way, breaks early, intercepts the pass. Let's look at it the, from the end zone cam. Here. He's just so smart. He's like Richard Sherman. He sees the play happening before it happens. He's down here. You can't see him right now, but he'll come back. Ran the route for the tight end while playing zone coverage. Yeah, it's a good player. 14-19 third quarter. This is just a simple run to the offense's right side, an outside run. Watch how Fred Warner runs it down. It's a lot of blocks going on, a lot of traffic. Jaquaski Tart gets blocked. Kwan Williams is going to get blocked. Not Fred Warner. He's on this all the way. Eyes on the running back. 
but a feel for where he needs to go. Doesn't overrun the play. Quan Alexander, talking to you, Quan Alexander makes a tackle. That's the best middle linebacker in football. 719 second quarter. Kendrick Bourne's at the top of your screen. Matched up one-on-one -on -one against James Bradbury, one of the best cornerbacks in the league, and Bradbury's giving him no respect. Man-to-man, -man, press coverage, right in his face. This is a highly paid player. This is a guy who hasn't got a second contract. A guy who's undrafted. Watch this matchup. Kendrick Bourne is better than people realize. Bradbury never touches him. Clean release to the inside. Stops on a dime. Big time separation. Beautiful out route. Catches the ball away from his body. Turns up field. Gets a few yards after the catch. Makes Bradbury look like the undrafted guy. 14-55. Third quarter. First play of the second half. The Giants are coming out. Testing Jason Verrett with their best wide receiver, Darius Slayton, who's good. Niners are very aggressive. Man-to-man -man coverage. Bump and run. Just like James Bradbury on the previous clip. It's the kind of stuff Robert Sala doesn't call for Emmanuel Mosley or even Richard Sherman. Just Jason Verrett, when he's healthy, he can do this. Going up against an excellent wide receiver. Watch this. Going to break down right here. On the comeback, Jason Verrett breaks down with him, gives up no separation. Quarterback saw him throwing the ball, waiting for him to get open, but he's not open. Verrett trails him, knocks the ball out right there. If he stays healthy, the Niners have a very good cornerback. 8-12 fourth quarter, Jeff Wilson Jr. is in the backfield. This play won't count because of a holding penalty on the offensive line, but that's not what I want you to look at. I want you to look at the move. Jeff Wilson Jr. puts on the defensive back downfield. Watch. He's not fast, but he's really shifty. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, is that Barry Sanders right there? Guy just fell over. That's Jeff Wilson Jr. 422 fourth quarter. This time, Jeff Wilson Jr. is in the slot. Because he's a hell of a receiver. He's just going to run an option route. Fake to the outside. Come back to the inside. And he's totally going to break the ankles of this linebacker. He doesn't want any with Jeff Wilson Jr. He ain't ready for that. What a weapon to have in the red zone at any point in the field. Liners are loaded 